but... Hello. I have swapped to the correct scene this time. Hello everyone! Chat has been popping off in the starting soon screen. <laughs> so I figured I'd just uh, go ahead and say hi to you all. Um, how's it going everyone? Uh, Space Mousy did redeem a hydrate redeem, so I'm going to drink my very real water. It, it is actually water though. I just, you know, I had to be ironic about it because sometimes I don't have water at my desk. Good morning, Arrogator. How's it going? Um, so... We're in a Tamer's Paradise today. Oh my gosh, thank you for the subscription, Arrogator. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you. Now you won't have to view ads even when I forget my ad breaks. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Um, we're in Tamer's Paradise today. Uh, which is a special endgame, postgame type area with lots of fun activities. Uh, for example, let's go and I'll show them all off a little bit. Kind of. Pardon me. So this is the ever-shifting tower. You'll never see a room twice, it says. So it's kind of like a Nuzlocke-inspired roguelike-ish mode. Where you go through a dungeon... Uh, with multiple floors, and you can only catch one Temtem per room. Uh, there's limited healing, limited items. Oh my gosh, thank you for the subspace, Mosey, as well! Ah! We're popping off today already. <laughs> um, thank you, everyone. Then there's, um... <laughs> Mousy is one-upping you, Arrogator. <laughs> um... Then there's Archtamer's Sanctum, which is basically, I guess, like a version of the Elite Four in Pokemon, where you have to defeat the four tamers one after another. I don't know if you get to heal in between. I don't think you do. Um, and then you get prizes if you beat all of them, obviously. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the gift sub to Korgoth Arrogator. <laughs> Ooh, I like this competition. I like this this competition that's developing in my community. Ooh. <laughs> well, Korgoth, you are now subbed. Congrats. Um, then there is this... Um... <laughs> then there was this uh, arena. There's this arena, which has a draft mode where it's kind of like draft mode in like card games or whatever, where it gives you a selection of Temtems, you pick which one you want on your team. Uh, so you draft a team of four, and then you fight a bunch of NPCs, and if you want to continue after you beat an NPC, you have to take one of their Tems and replace one that you had on your team. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and then, this is just like the Grit Arena, which allows you to use your own Temtem, except that certain Tems, or a lot of Tems, are banned each week. Uh, so like, here, let me see the list of Thames. These are all of the Thames that are allowed for the Grit Arena. So as you can see, this is my usual squad. We don't have... Uh, we have half of those are banned this week, so I can't play until I acquire some more of these Thames on this list uh, to make a full party. Um, which I have some of these, uh, but they're not like at a decent level to actually fight. Um, and it's the same thing with the draft arena where you have to fight as many tamers as you think you can handle and you get prizes for defeating them. Um, then what's over here? I don't remember what's over here. I think this is just the hall of the chamber of heroes where you get to see, um, you get to see, uh, statues, I guess, of Kickstarter backers. How big is this thing? Oh, that is large. I don't know if I have a statue here or not. Bird. <laughs> bird. It's just called bird. <laughs> Type boy. Look at all these Kickstarter backers. Isaac Watkins. Scott Trishler. Wow, how cool. I might have my name in here, but I don't know if I do. I think Figgies has her name in there. She had her name in some game that she showed me recently. Um, then there's this uh, Tem Safari where you just like fight a shitload of wild Tem Tem over and over and you get prizes for defeating them. And then what is this? Oh yeah, that's the Digi Lair. I haven't done that yet because it's a two, two player co-op activity. And that's pretty much it, I think. Um, and to do any of these activities, you need a token. You get one free token for each activity per week. Then you can buy additional ones, which I'm thinking of buying or like doing a Tem Safari and then buying another token and doing it again because it's kind of fun and somewhat easy way to get feathers, kind of. 
Feathers are a late game currency that you can use to buy all kinds of good stuff, such as Luma hunting radars, also known as shiny hunting in anybody who knows Pokemon. Um, then there's also XP boosters you can get for 50 feathers and soul binders, which uh, I don't remember what these do. It makes it so you cannot trade the Temtem and they're like owned by you. It costs a lot though. Um, then, can, can I just buy your things please? Um, then, like I said, you can get a random radar for 300, you can get a radar for each of the, like, Thames that is just a shiny hunting radar. And then we talk to this person. I wanna buy. What is- oh, it didn't load. <laughs> okay, um... You can get these telomere hotfixes and hacks, which... Basically, these are random boxes. Um, but what they do is they increase an SV of a Temtem. Um, which is their kind of stat growth value. These things, these little green things, it increases them by one. So, thank you for the sub, Figgies. <laughs> oh my goodness, we got a hype train. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate every one of you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and then, uh, so if you have a Temtem that's, like, all perfect except for, like, one SV that's just, like, 49, then you just use a Telomere hack and now it's perfect. So it only increases it by one. So if you have a, a Temtem that's like that's like 46 in a stat that you want to be 50, you have to use four of them. Um, hmm. So, uh, wait, what else do you sell? You sell other things, right? Oh yeah, she sells stat boosting essences. So this one will add TVs to HP. So those are kind of like effort values in Pokemon where... Um, as you defeat wild Pokemon, you get an effort, a specific kind of effort values from them, which uh, influences your stats as well. Uh, so that's what TVs are in this game. And you can just, instead of having to grind wild Thames, you can just, you know, use these. And that way you don't have to, like, grind specific types of Thames that might be hard or whatever. Um, and then these also can subtract SVs from... Po from po from Pokemon from Temtems. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but you can if you want to. Again, I'm not not entirely not entirely sure why you would want to do that, but you can. Um. So now that we've gone over Tamer's Paradise, I, what I'm actually going to do instead of doing Tamer's Paradise activities, uh, is I was gonna go actually I was gonna go breed, but why don't we do a Tamer's Paradise activity since I just finished explaining this stuff? Let me make sure. I think I have another token for the draft. Wait, no, I think I used my last token for the draft arena last night. So let's do a draft arena run real quick. And I say real quick, but it's probably gonna take at least 20 minutes or half hour or something. It's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, so we do not have any draft arena tokens, and we already got our free one for this week, so we'll have to pay 6,000 for one. Which is, feels like a lot, and it probably is a lot. You probably want to use your free tokens for the most part. But, um, you know what? I just want to do a draft arena, because I enjoy draft arena. So, like I said, you draft the Tem uh, squad from, like, gears to equip to them and a selection of Tems. Uh, ooh, an infinite number of increasingly strong arrivals. Interesting. Uh, and then you can kind of like, if you beat a rival, you can say, okay, I want to continue and bet half of my feathers that I've currently earned to get more if I defeat them, or I'll just take my winnings and go. Okay, so. I think we're probably going to take this Tolkien, because I know Tolkien is really good right now. Let's see what does it have for moves. You cannot swap out the moves. You just, just get what's in there. What's uh, provided for you if you pick that Temtem. I see Gust of Wind. That's pretty good. That's very good. Oh, I like this one too. And it has it has good priority too. Okay, so I really like this. And increased damage with fire techniques. Okay, let's see. What, is he, what has he got for... It's first aid kit. I don't know if I care about that. Coat, I don't care about. Fake beard could be interesting. Let's see what kind of stamina he's got. Not much, considering he's got a lot of like high stamina cost moves so we might take the fake beard because the invigoration just makes it so that you take less stamina there's also the tukma mask which reduces damage taken from toxic techniques but he's probably not going to be taking any hits from toxic techniques anyway because he's part wind which resists toxic so i don't think the npcs will really be using them on him oh an owl he 
A gonkey. Let's see what the stats are like on these guys. Uh, this is another wind one. First, let's look at... Hmm. Let's look at this guy. So he's got physical attack. I think this Temtem is actually supposed to be a special attacker. Like, its special attack is normally higher. But I see a lot of physical attacking one ones in draft mode, so I don't know. Let's see, Glass Blade. Yeah, that's not great. It's only it's his only turn one move, so I don't think I'm going to use this strictly for that reason, because these first two tens that we pick are going to be the tens that we get, like to start with, I guess? Like, the tens that we send out at first. However, oh, physical attacking Aohi. No, I don't want that either. <laughs> we might end up taking this Gazuma. Um, so it has a bit of speed, a so little, little tiny bit of stamina, some HP for bulk and special tech. And its special defense is naturally really good. What's the defenses like on my token? I'm not sure. I can't tell. <laughs> I didn't look. Um, let's see. So it's got Turbo, Choreography, Sparks, Tornado, and Electric Storm. Alright, so... How fast... Hold Okay, hold on. I wish I knew how fast my Tolkien was. Because I would like to take this guy just for the Sparks. Um, to, like, make the Tolkien more powerful. But, again, that's his only turn one move. Let's look at this guy. Uppercut, Frond Whip... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Thanks again for the hype train, guys. You're all very sweet. <laughs> uh, it's pretty pretty bulky. Um, it's got bark shield, which is nice. It's got bush, which is nice. Hmm. Uppercut isn't terrible. And let's see, what is he weak to? Like, water, electric. Those are the big ones I can think of right now. Let's see, water, electric. We could take this guy and just, like... Use him to deal with electric types, I guess? Or we could take him and deal with water type? Well, no, because he doesn't have any turn one shit. <laughs> um, I'm going to take the Zenereth, probably. Ooh, actually, Mom's Lunch would be really interesting. Um, because it would exhaust the rivals and the ally, but the the, the, the fake beard on the Tolkien will uh, make it so that instead of being exhausted, his invigoration will just go away. Interesting. I'll probably use that then. Pro I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna experiment with it. If we don't like it, we can replace him, so... Let's see, what does he have? Water Custodian. Okay. That actually could be interesting. Let's see, Beta Burst. Energy Manipulation. Ooh, and his special attack is very high. The guy's is Fury. Interesting. And Hypnosis. I might take the Nagais. Let me see what... What items do we have? Okay. Marbles. Ooh, marbles would be good. Physical electric technique. I don't think we have any of those. <laughs> uh, and all these others are not very good, I don't think. Uh, so we'll take the Nagais and give it marbles. Uh, then I might take the I might take the Gallus, I'm not sure. This thing is surprisingly bulky. Or maybe it's not just just not incredibly squishy. <laughs> and that's what that's what I'm uh, looking at. It's like I'm looking at other tens that are just very squishy. Yeah, like see this one's even bulkier. This is a special attack one. Are they normally special attack? No. And he's got all physical moves? What? <laughs> um, I am going to take the Gallus, though. Um, so we're going to give him, let's see, building blocks, iron coating, rock shield. We're going to take the building blocks. Boop. All right. It's another crystal type, but it's also melee. So, we're pretty weak to ground at the moment, but we at least have Nagais to deal with it. Because Nagais has water moves, so that's good. Oh boy, fake beard. So, this one is, I think, melee and digital. This one's water and earth. So, we want to get rid of him if we can at all get rid of him. Uh, let's see. I might just, like... I don't think crystal's very effective against earth. I know it's I know earth is super effective against crystal. 
But we'll just experiment. I mean, it's only the first battle, so... And as you can see, we're level 100, our opponents are level 70. So, yeah, it is not very effective. Uh-oh, that's gonna hurt. Um, but yeah, the opponents level up each battle. Um, they get, like, they get a lot more levels each time, basically. Um, so you do need to be careful and, uh, kind of, like, get a- I like that it starts out weaker because it kind of gives you, like, Hold on, let me see. Sharpening, Major Slash. We'll just do Major Slash, maybe. Because, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I should have withdrawn Xenareth. Um, but, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's good that they started out being weaker because that kind of gives you more of a chance to like replace the weaker Thames on your team, you know? Two rock, get ready. Okay, so we've got two two uh, critters on this team who I'm not thrilled with facing. So we're gonna withdraw Zenareth. I think I'll keep Tolkien out for now because he has a priority move. And then let's see what's that digital one? Yeah, we'll send out Nagais. And what item did we give Nagais again? Did we give him the marbles or something? I feel like he has marbles, but I don't remember. <laughs> Stone ball. Yeah, that's not going to hit too hard because water resists earth. Tutsu. Okay, so this one's melee type. This one's melee and flying. Aha! It is marbles. Yes! Okay. Uh, melee and flying. So what I'm going to do... Most likely I'm just going to use Tolkien's, the remainder of Tolkien's stamina here. And then... Actually, hold on. Which one has priority? This one? Let me check our speed real quick, because this one's... Okay, now guys, is faster. Because um, I do want to use Fire Tornado on someone. Um, and I don't think this is going to KO. Actually, what I'm going to do... What we're gonna do is we're gonna use Nagaisa's Fury because it's super effective against Turok. And it'll deal a little bit more damage to Tutsu as well. I mean, it's not like super effective, but it'll just damage it a little bit. And then we'll finish it off with Fire Tornado. Yay. So this is PvE, but I actually feel like I'm learning a lot about like how competitive Temtem is going to feel more so than with the other NPCs because these people actually these NPCs like obviously the AI is very predictable but they do swatch swatch swi bleh, switch out their Thames which is like oh okay I have to learn about that stuff and like I'm learning how more Thames work and that kind of thing let's see special attack and HP it's mostly what this guy's got Let's see, Harmful Microwave, Soul Shout, Plasma Beam, Reset. Interesting. Mm, I feel like this is kind of our best option, even though I don't like it. Let's see, what are the items? Wind Techniques, Reduces Speed, Damage Done to Toxic Thames, and Low Base Power Moves are powered up, essentially. I mean, not really. <laughs> Let's see, we don't have any really low base power moves here. Hmm. It's tempting to take the Tutsu and give it the, the hand fan. Or would it be Tutsu or Two Rock that would be better? Let's see, Stone Ball. Actually, yeah, no, we'll take the we'll take the Two Rock because it has Stone Ball, which is has a synergy with uh, the, the other guy. <laughs> Vulcan, that's what it's called. It's like two cannon Vulcan, right? Or is that a thing? Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? Whatever. Okay, so you've got two Thames who are very, very good against both of us, but I think we'll be okay. Like, they're still only level 74, right? Let's see, Fiery Soul. We'll use Fiery Soul on Babawa because it's gonna go before Babawa pretty much no matter what. Um. 
This is... Hmm. I'm debating on if I want to... Because that'll do half damage, but it will also burn. Vulcan is the Roman god of vul Vulcanus. Okay, okay. That's what I thought, but I was like, am I making that up? Is that just a video game thing? <laughs> That's the thought that went through my head right, right uh, at that moment. Aha, they swapped out Babawa. Interesting. So we'll only take uh, one attack. Oh, didn't I do a fire attack there anyway? Nice. This moments is part nature. It's nature and digital, I think. Might be nature and mental. I think it's digital, though. No, yeah, it's digital. Totally. Okay, so this will burn it for two turns, which means it takes a little bit of damage now, and on this upcoming turn, it will deal less damage. Uh, tornado. We'll just use Fiery Soul again on the Momance, I guess. And we'll use... Hmm. Should we use Fiery Soul? Because... I'm gonna use... I'm gonna use... No, okay, yeah, we'll use Fiery Soul. Then we'll use Rockfall on both of them. Yeah, I knew. I knew they would swap out. Um, but Babawa takes neutral damage. Like, it takes a normal amount of damage from fire moves. And now it's burned? No. I didn't use a burn attack, apparently. Or wait, no. It might have... Does it have burn immunity? It might. Anyway. Yeah, it has totally has burn immunity. And takes less damage from fire, I think. Um, anyway, let's see. Does any of this stuff have priority? Kind of, yes. We'll use that one. Then... Then we'll use Turbine as well. How about that? Are you gonna withdraw? No. Okay. Is, is Two Rock a physical attacker? I guess it is. Oshara has been knocked out. Nice. So we did overexert two rock, so it won't be able to move this next turn. Let's see, wind burst, fiery fire tornado. We'll do um well fiery soul will also knock us out. Hmm. Hmm. I'm debating on what move to use then. I might do wind burst on Osukai. I don't think it's gonna oh wait, we're overexerted. Okay, we'll just do we'll just do fire. And then I'm gonna withdraw two rock because it might take a fighting move from the Osukai, which is not what we want. I will let Gyalus or not Gyalus, Nagaius out. I I did not pronounce this Temtem's name right for the longest time because I thought it was like some like Japanese inspired name and I was like Nagaisa? Nag Nagaisa? <laughs> But it was not. It's it's just pronounced Nagai's, I think. I'm quite sure. Why did I send out Gallus? Whatever. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Um Beta Burst? Yeah, we'll do beta burst. This should hurt it pretty bad. Boop. There we go, it's dead. Meow. There we go. It fall down. We're gonna continue. Let's see what does it does Babawa have. Water cutting lily, aqua stone, drill and laundry. I really like this moveset. Um and I like mucus as well. Um Let's see. I wanna keep these two at least for now. Maybe hmm, who am I gonna get rid of? Let's see what items we have first. Neutral techniques. When overexerted prevents turn penalization. And none of this would actually be good on Babawa, though, is the problem. Let's see, so we have a special attacker, a physical attacker, a special attacker, and a, what I assume to be a physical attacker. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second, because we have to replace one of these. We cannot not replace one of them. So I'll probably replace the Nagais, actually, if we take the Babawa. Uh, because it's also water type and I don't want too many- like, we have two wind types right now, but they synergize really well, so... Let's see, Aqua Stone... Well, then again, two water types would allow Babawa to use the better water cutting lily, so... Maybe I will replace the Gallus instead, uh, but there really aren't any good items for Babawa here. <laughs> um... 
digital technique, earth, nah, nah, nah. Because, like, Baboa has so much fucking stamina, it's almost... It's most likely not gonna get overexerted. But I also feel like getting hit by a digital technique is potentially less likely, so we'll take this, we'll take this. Um, and we'll replace the Gallus, I guess. Wait, hold on, how, how good are we... Hmm... I'm, like, mixed on this, because it means that our team is pretty weak to electric. And we don't have the crystal. Whatever, we'll be fine. It's it's early enough that we can, like, we can afford to, to have another battle with, like, an unoptimal team. Garunder and Garong. Let's see. So Garunder is electric and toxic. And Gorong, I actually don't know what it is, but I think it's neutral. Maybe? Uh, so Windburst will go on the Garunder. It's probably actually... We'll do Fiery Soul on the Gorong. What does this do again? Burn. Okay. Then we'll use Feather Gatling on the Garunder. Because I think he's probably going to swap out... Yeah, that's what I figured. We've got two Wind types, so... <laughs> it would be smart to do that. And this is an Electric type, so we will see just how bad our team is against Electric types now, I suppose. Although, we do have... I don't know how fast Turok is, but... Oh, ouch, that's gonna hurt real bad. Oh, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. <laughs> right, I, they're still level 78, so it's not, not as bad as it would be. Oh, right, and he was burned. Nice. Um, so, next thing I'm gonna do is probably another Fiery Soul, and then we'll do Rockfall. And cross our fingers that it goes before the Volgon? Oh, it retreated anyway, okay. <laughs> and it sent out a Mawala, which is mental and maybe Earth? Ooh, the Hypnosis, okay. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. I like that. Oh. Okay, so Fire Tornado could work, I guess? We'll use it on the Gorong, how about? Because I think that's gonna- wait, no. We'll use Fiery Soul on the Mawala. And then we use Rockfall on both of them to burn. The Fiery Soul is gonna burn regardless, but I think the Mawala is more of a problem than the Gorong. Yeah, see? It had, it had a melee move. Is it? Until a melee, or what's going on there? And now the Gorong is also burned and not going to deal as much damage with this move. And it hurt itself in overexertion and they both have lots of damage on them. Okay, we'll just use Wind Burst on the Gorong and then use like... Um, I'll use Stone Ball on the Mawala or should I use Turbine? Uh, let's see. I'll use Feather Gatling. Yeah, I didn't think he was gonna swap out. Didn't think he was gonna swap to another temp te tempum? Tem tem. Volgun and Garunder again, okay? So we'll probably What I'm gonna do is use Fire Tornado- well, actually, hmm. We use Tornado and Garunder, and then Rockfall, and that will knock out Turok. But it might kill the Volgon, and it will certainly do a lot of damage to it. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, I guess air isn't effective against- or wind isn't effective against lightning. Okay. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but we won anyway. Let's see, what did they have that I wanted, maybe? We'll keep going, because why not? Uh, Volgun and maybe Garunder are probably the better ones. Maybe Malala. Rivals and the ally get asleep for one turn. Hmm, I don't like that. What does this guy have? When resting gets defense, defense plus and minus one hold. Ooh, interesting. So we could just like rest on the first turn or something and then be able to use like shelter and this thingy hmm. i'm not sure about it though it's poison and electric which i like 
Um, like, I like the typing on it, but... I, let's see, its stats are... It's not very beefy in terms of, like, physical defense. And it doesn't have any uh, synergies with... Well, it does have a synergy with... Mm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sold on it, I guess. What about the Volgon? Thunderstrike, Undermine, and whatever this thing is. Let me look at our, our items. Ooh, a physical electric technique will burn. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Interesting. So this will actually set... So this guy has, like, good stuff happen when he rests. And this thing also sets rivals to asleep when he rests. So I'm thinking... Who am I going to replace, though? Let's see, we've got fire... Who likes... I, I kind of don't want to replace these two because they're doing so well. <laughs> I guess I'll just replace Nagai's because I'm not, like, super in love with him. I'm not super in love with the Babawa either, though. I'm probably thinking way too hard about this. I'll just replace the Nagai's for now. Like, I wasn't thrilled with any of those Temtem, but I really wanted to continue going, so... Skunch and Gazuma. Okay. The Gazuma has to go down first, for sure. Because it's electric. Well, actually, the, the Skunch is going to be painful, too. Uh, we'll burn the Skunch, and we will use Stone Ball on the Gazuma or whatever they switch out to. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, this is going to hurt that real bad. Because <laughs> it's I think it's electric digital or something. Not sure. Okay, so now it's going to be burned and not deal as much damage. Yeah, nice. Because this would have hurt really bad without the burn. Yeah, see? That already hurt. It still hurt pretty bad. Bam. <laughs> oh gosh, it's dead. It has perished. And the Gazuma's back out. Not... And I don't recommend doing that, but, you know. We'll do that, and then we'll do Rockfall, how about? The Kazuma's retreating again. Oh gosh, okay. And it's an Osukai that, this time. Okay. So this, we're not going to do much damage to it this turn, I don't think. Because this is fire attack, and then this will be an earth attack. But this is going to kill Skunch, as it turns out. And the Gazuma's back out once again. Because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> right, let's swap from Turok to... What can even damage that thing? Babawa? Yeah, Babawa. Babawa's the right answer here. Because she has Waterstone. I, I feel like all Babawas are she's now, because mine is a she. <laughs> so I'm just like, refer to them that way. Lol. Okay. Kazuma took big damage. Um, actually, Osakai is really low now, too. I didn't even realize. Use Fiery Soul on Kazuma. Probably finish it off. And Aqua Stone. Boop. Dust Vortex? Oh no, that actually might hurt. Oh wow, that hurt more than I thought it would though. <laughs> Dang. I guess, isn't that a physical move? So I guess it makes sense that it hurt that badly. What did they have again? Honestly, I'm going to leave now because I want to do other stuff and 24 feathers isn't a bad amount. So, uh, we did get 49 XP for our Tamer Pass from the Draft Arena, which is not that much. Uh, it would it would be more efficient to just grind wild towns, but that's boring, and this is fun, so. Uh, let's see. Um, also, the battle pass, weekly activities, I still have a bunch that I can do that I haven't done yet. When we're almost to level 8, which is nice. Well, we're like halfway. <laughs> we can get there quickly, basically. 
Uh, we have capture 20 untamed Venks. I'm probably going to do that off stream because it's boring. Breed a Gyalis with an egg technique. I tried to do that, but it, I guess it didn't, I didn't buy the right mail. Uh, win two ranked battles. That ain't happening yet, probably. It might later this week. Capture 50 untamed Thames. Defeat 50 untamed Thames. These will be very easy and will get me a, uh, another level, basically. Use a die to customize your clothes. Well, that's easy, too. I don't think we actually have any dies right now, but, like, we can get them very easily, so... Uh, actually, here, let's go ahead and... Because it won't show in our regular backpack, I don't think. So let me just... Can I just, like, die this? Oh! Do I have a lot of dies? What? Where did I get all of these? What? Oh, I guess some of them are not tradable. Okay. What about this sweater? This sweater's cute. Can I dye it? What if we dye it? Wait, can we dye these, like... Oh, we can dye these, too! We can dye the party items that we get from the battle pass. That's cute. I actually do want to dye this one. It's, like, the same color as my hair, but I don't like the same color as my hair. Like, I don't want it to be the same color as my hair. Ooh, that's a cute color. This is nice, too, because it's, like, the yellow that my... Like, this is the yellow that my hair is, but this is, like, kind of a different, slightly different yellow. Ooh, this brown one is nice, too. I don't know, I'm conflicted. Do I even- I don't even know if I want to wear this long term. I like the sweater though. Let's dye the sweater. Or at least think about dyeing it. Oh, that's a nice color. Oh, a teal sweater. Teal sweater could be fun. This is- this doesn't look like the same color as my hair on this one. I'll dye it- what kind of dye is this? Oh, okay, that's an ironstone dye that I wasn't able to sell. We'll use that. Okay, so now we have this, uh, we'll wear the sweater that we just dyed. And then we'll wear regular pants and such. And look at us get XP for our battle pass. Yay! Um, so next thing I was gonna do is I think, I think I have some eggs at the breeding center. But first, actually I'm gonna check my auctions first. Because it's free to go to the auction house, but not free to go to the breeding center. <laughs> Boy, I love soda. So good. So tasties. Oh, come on, game. Load properly, please. Nice rat, says Space Mousy. Yeah, my rat- actually, your rat's better than mine. My rat- let me look at its stats. It has all greens, but not perfect ones. Rat. Cute rat. It's really- it's really got a good typing for- and like, it's got good stats, too. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good Temtem overall. I mean, like, the species. Oh sweet, we sold a Bigu for 25,000, we sold a Volfi for 5,000, 18,000 for this Rolder, 22,000 for this Rolder, which I, I poured a lot of money into those things, so I'm really glad they sold <laughs> for a decent amount. Uh, let's see, this Swally we're gonna try and sell again for like 12,500. I'm not sure if it'll sell or not, but... I want to at least get 10k for it, because of, um, I think I paid probably that much for it. We'll list it for three days, how about? Uh, this Babawa, we'll just claim the Babawa. This Swally, most likely, I don't know if I spent any, much at all on this Swally. I think I'll probably be best off charging like 7,000 for it over three days, and then we can just put a bid at like 5,000. Let's try that. Because for these like high high value auctions, I try to like put them up for longer just so that like people have a longer chance to see them and I don't have to pay the listing fee again. Ooh, Diamond Fort. Diamond Fort, of course. Let's see, so that's Wish You Well coins for five thousand apiece, I guess. Incubator tickets for a not very great price. Let me look for, um... 
Let me look for DNA strands and see if there's any for good prices. I don't see any for good prices, though. I guess 9100 isn't bad. Like, it's good. It's just... Do I really want it? <laughs> do I really need it? I don't really need it yet. So what we're going to do next is we're going to look for mighty DNA strands with a maximum buyout of like 5k. We want less than 5k though. But yeah, I'll buy some of these that are like 500 cheaper because I'm going to be buying a lot of these from the NPCs anyway, which they're 5,000 at the NPCs, so this will save me money. Okay, now we're gonna look for bigger DNA. No, not bigger. Motherfucker. I keep forgetting it does that. Bigger DNA strand. Same thing, under 5,000. Hmm. We'll grab this one for 4,200. Not bad. Then we're gonna look for immunity DNA strand. Same thing as always. And there are none for that price. Really, though? Really. That sucks. But. That's okay, we saved some money just now. Alright, um. Let me think. What was I gonna- Oh yeah, we're gonna go to the breeding center next, potentially. I do want to look at the item options again real quick. Um, let me- Let me actually- Look at the Wish You Well coins and see what people are charging for them. Like, if there are any that are cheap, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Like, under 5k? Because you'd be surprised, people don't really look for these that often. So sometimes they just like... What's Crystal Week to ask Space Mousy? Fire? Melee? Um... Maybe Earth, but I wouldn't count on it. Actually, yeah, I think Earth, but again, not 100% sure. Definitely Fire and Melee, though. Fire, yeah, okay. Yep, 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 Fire is weak, or er, it's weak to Fire. And if it's Crystal and Earth, like the Bun Bun and Bun Bun's evolution, it takes four times damage for Melee, which I know, because mine has taken that much damage before, and it's a lot of damage. <laughs> I... should I buy a Wish You Well coin for like 4,000? I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It's probably a good deal, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh yeah, I have to claim this on my Tamer Pass to actually get the premium currency. Um... Let me see how many coins I have. Because I know I have some. Coin, Wish You Well coin... Oh, come on, I have at least one. Where are these things? I know I have them. Where did they go? Did I use all of them? No. No, there's no way. Hold on. Do I- Cause like, th this is where they are. They're in here. Do I not have any? Where did I use them? <laughs> oh, maybe I used them- Huh, weird. Anyway, we're going to the breeding center now. To- Cause I know I have a couple of eggs. I think. I think I have a couple of eggs. Yes, we do. We have a couple of eggs. Uh, one of which is a bigu egg. Not sure what... Oh, and one of which is also a bigu egg. And those hatch pretty quickly. And what's digital week to? Water? For sure. I think... I think electric. Um, it is also... It also deals extra damage to melee, so be wary of that. And it's also weak to digital. Digital is weak to digital. Um, but I, I'm, I'm quite sure it's weak to water. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let me just put these guys over here. And I'll grab our eggs and start incubating them. What is this bag for? Oh, for breeding, I guess, because it has max attack. This Bigu can pretty much be sold. Does it have- it does not have the egg move that I want. That's okay. This Bigu does have the egg move that I want, but it also has Amphibian and its fertility is not great, so I'll go ahead and start selling it. 
This one. Thank you for the bonk, Evan Waffles. Hello. Welcome to, welcome to the uh, stream once again. Uh, so this one has warm blooded and its fertility is kind of shit. It does have revitalized, but I think I am going to sell it. How's it going, Sir Evan? Waffles Jr. continues to do very well in life. He, uh... He's level 84 now. He might have been level 84 last time I checked in on him for you, but... <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Female Kinu with lots of fertility. Or one fertility, but lots of stats. Yeah, we can breed that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're tired. I'm sure you're tired. Did you at least have a better day today? I would also understand if you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> but I'm hoping you had a better day today. Let's see. This Kinu, this Kinu. I'm keeping them just for the revitalize egg move. Could be interesting to breed them and then, like, breed them with a female something and then sell it with the egg move as a breeder, maybe? That could be interesting. This Wolfie is probably still good for breeding. Probably. And then we have all of these rollers here, which we still need to breed, but uh, I don't think we have any, like, compatible males right now. Like, what? This is, this is a male who isn't any good for breeding anymore. There's a female who's also not any good for breeding anymore. You had a good day, and Saturday was also pretty good. No more bike disasters. Well, that's good to hear. That is a positive. I'll take any positives I can get. On your behalf. The amphib male is amphibian and revitalized and shitty fertility. We'll get rid of him. Get rid of him. Uh, let's see. Ball female. Bun bun male. This bun bun male can go in the sales box too. I'm just gonna look at rollers and such while we wait for the eggs to hatch, which won't be too long from now, fortunately. Uh, let's see. So we got. This female is pretty much trash, but I might use her to breed, like, babies to sell? Question mark? Maybe? Let's let's see if we can find a good breeding partner for her. This just like trash fertility, not very good stats, that kind of thing. This one, this female is really close to having to being to having a perfect roller baby. Let's see, let me actually look at all of our Earth males and see if I can find a compatible partner for her. Let's see speed. Ooh, actually, this might work. Maybe. I don't think so. Oh, and it does have Tardy Rush, so... I'll go ahead and mark him with, like, a... Moon or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know where you are then, Space Mousy. Uh, when I got- when I got that Tem, I was like, oh, no! <laughs> you know, like, I felt so bad for it. It's such a baby! It's a baby! Let's see, this this one Volfi right here might also be helpful, but I'm not sure. This Bun Bun cannot breed anymore, unfortunately. This Volfi also can't breed anymore. And now... Yep. Okay, so that's all of the... <laughs> it has trauma, the poor thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Oh, this is the Trash Roller. Let me see if we have any other Trash Tems to breed with the Trash Roller. Let's see, so she has attack, and this thing has also attack. But I think it has the wrong ability- wait, no, it has the right ability. Resilience is the right ability on Bun Bun, so we'll just breed these two as like a cheap breeding. And we'll sell the baby. Because we can definitely get more than 50 hand suns for the baby, so here we go. <laughs> right, going back to the roller box. We did have that one female who's like, oh wait, she has thick skin. Damn, okay. Thick skin, female roller, very unfortunate. This one also has thick skin, but also unfortunate. Hmm. Do we have any like males that have thick skin that we can just like read with the females to not worry about, <laughs> about the, uh, the trait? 
We also, well, this one has Tardy Rush, so that's a chance to get Tardy Rush on a female. Uh, let me actually see where the other Moonmark one is. It's this Volfi right here, okay. And it has Team Elusive, which is in the same slot as Tardy Rush, I think. Not sure. So that would be a good option, potentially. See, how much fertility does this guy have? Exactly as much as this this female. Which is good. I'll just move these guys over so I know that the female I'm looking at is in the corner. Okay, so... If we breed these two together, we can get a roller that just needs speed and that's it. So, I might do that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll take our Vigor DNA strand and our Immunity DNA strand that I know we have. Because we... Did we buy both of those? We might have bought a Mighty DNA strand. We do have Vigor and Mighty. So we'll need, um... I think she's the one who has HP? Let me check. You have HP, ma'am. Yes, and then we need an Immunity strand, which we'll just buy from the NPC. Beep. So this roller baby is going to take 10,000, or it's going to have taken 10,000 hand suns to make. Well, technically 10,050. <laughs> but, you know. Um, so that'll be 50 pan suns. Let's breed them! And then speed is the only thing that would be missing from the baby. And theoretically, we might be able to get a perfect roller off of that. Um, it kind of depends on what well first we need a, it, the baby to be a female second we need the baby to have tardy rush as its trait which is a 50 50 chance at this point and third we then need a male earth or neutral type that has like perfect stats or nearly perfect stats so this other female i wanted to also look into breeding so that's what hmm Speed attack, defense, special attack, and special defense. Okay, so we would basically what we would do... Do these both have Tardy Rush? No, this one has thick skin. Shoot. This one has Tardy Rush, but it's ahead on its fertility, basically. <laughs> Evan Waffle says, God, this is why I've never played legit competitive Pokemon. Well... But the breeding in Pokemon works different. Like, once you get a perfect Pokemon in Pokemon, I, to my knowledge, you can just reproduce it over and over again. In Temtem, you have to be, like, a lot more strategic about it. About your breeding. And you could also just buy your competitive play Temtem from other players if you don't want to get into breeding. Let's see. Attack and special attack. And then this one will get special defense passed down. Like, Rolder doesn't need special attack, but I want to pass it down anyway just so that I can get, like, a perfect statted baby to sell. See, we've already got a Mighty Strand, so then it's special defense, or... Yeah, special defense. On the male. Yes, the male. There we go. And then this one is Mighty Strand. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's still too complicated for my custard brain, says Evan. That makes... Well, I would say that makes sense, but then that sounds mean, because it sounds like I'm saying, yeah, you're dumb, which is not what I mean. Um, oh good, one of them is warm-blooded. Was the other one warm-blooded too? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yes, they're both warm-blooded! I think I gambled on at least one of these being warm-blooded, where like it might have been amphibian. Uh, so this is really good, actually, because they have revitalized and they're warm-blooded. Uh, the only problem is we don't really have warm-blooded males, and we need... Well, so... I'm thinking of taking the non-warm-blooded uh, trait for Bigu, for a Bigu for my own competitive squad, if I end up using one. But Figgies want specifically warm-blooded, so... Let me look for some grass or nature-type males real quick. Uh, and they'll need to have... Like three or four stats, I guess. Three or four stats. Like this Hidoti, and then we'll need to have the first trace slot. And ideally they'll have better fertility as well than that Hidoti. 
Uh, nope, that's not good enough fertility either. Or actually, we might be down to four fertility on the, the Bigus that we just looked at. Not entirely sure. Let's look. So this one has Amphibian, which we don't want, but it also has Revitalize. Uh, so I'm going to save that for another female because we want to cast down Revitalize when we're breeding. Uh, this one cannot breed anymore. Oh, and I think we've just gone back to the beginning on our, our nature type males. Or have we? Hold up. Yeah, I guess we have. Yep, we have. Okay. Um, let me actually just look at this be this male real quick, though. Alright. Um, where did I put the females that we just hatched? Right here, maybe? Yeah, so... Basically, these guys just need HP and stamina, because uh, Bigu doesn't use special attack. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this male for them. Uh, we are going to breed probably some more Volfies at some point. Do we have two Thames in there right now? Yeah, we do. Okay. So we're, we're good for a bit, I think. Although we might just wait until they produce an egg and then we'll put the rollers in there as well. Hmm. We might do that. Also, we're coming up on our first schedule break anyway. <laughs> Evan Waffle says, I have to wear my headphones all day because the custard would fall out my ears. It adds up. <laughs> God, I relate to the Jello brain struggle though, for real. Um, yeah, I'll look for I'll look for a couple of Volfies to breed while we're uh, waiting for eggs and waiting for the first scheduled break of the stream, uh, which will be very soon. Let's see, this Volfie, I got so many Volfies with fucking HP and shit. Let's see, was this one has HP and full fertility? And let's look for a male that has either speed or stamina. Oh, okay. There's this one with stamina. There's one with HP and stamina. Special defense, speed and defense. And it needs to be breedable, obviously. But I would prefer that it has better fertility or... Okay, hold on. Let's do... Okay, so where's this HP and stamina guy? It's right here. And let me see if I can find a female that has speed. And like, six or more fertility. Speed female, six or more fertility. This is actually a really good one. Let's see, uh, the only problem is it doesn't have the trait we're looking for in the Babawa specifically. Oh, this one has really good stats. Okay, interesting. Okay, so that's, I think that's the one we just looked at earlier. Let's see. Where is this one? It's like, it's like over here-ish. Okay, okay. It's like this one, right? Okay, cool. Thankfully, I did pick up the right one. So, we're going to take a stamina, an endurance DNA strand, and a speed DNA strand real quick. And we will equip it to the would-be parents. Soon-to-be parents. There you go. And we have one male, one female. They both have Team Elusive, which won't be useful for Babawa breeding, most likely. But it will be useful for Rolder breeding, I think. Anyhow, we are coming up on that break, so I will be right back, guys, okay? I won't be long. I'll just go get some caffeine and whatnot. <laughs> VRV.
Hello once again everyone. I have returned and it is time to grab some Temtem eggs and breed some more Temtem. Let's see, uh, gold are first. Didn't realize we already had two pairs in our uh, bag. Where do we keep our Tem cards anyway? Do we keep it in our bag? Or do we keep it in like our... I bet you could keep it in your pocket. You know, like a pocket tem card. You can even like... Yes, we will. We'll get them down to business. <laughs> um, I bet you can have like a, a tem card in your wallet. <laughs> that would be fun. I probably, I don't know. It sounds fun. Having a wallet with tems, with tem tems in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so this roller is almost not useful for breeding anymore, but we're gonna keep her for like some trash breeding. Which actually I think one of these is trash. Yeah, this one's trash. This one's not trash. Uh, and then... Oh, right, right, right. We have this Volthy, who's also only really good for breeding trash, but I'll put him in, uh, in here. How about? Did I bring did I breed Temtems instead of Mons? What do you mean? What do you mean? Is this a joke that I'm not getting currently? Probably. Let's see, this one has Tardy Rush, but I'm gonna sell her because she doesn't have much fertility left. This Bun Bun is also gonna get released. Bop! Goodbye, Bun Bun. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got the, I got the, I got the, um, the, the two defeat the Huns line, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get the next line. It went over my head. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> okay. So we've got two rolder eggs to wait until they, uh, hatch. <laughs> I think I had my regular Thames over here, so I'll put the Bawa and Fouquet in here, because they're usually in my, uh, my squad. That's what it's called, my squad. Uh, and then what else did I even want to do? Oh, we should go to the post office. We should attempt the post office. But first, let's mass release some Temtems that I don't need anymore. <laughs> uh, so I don't think this Bawa is actually going to- wait. Oh, it has the wrong ability, so that's why. Hey, Evelnala! Temtemons! Yeah! We are playing Temtem today. How's it going, Evelnala? Oop! Hold on. There we go, I have- I have acquired soda, finally. <laughs> See you soon, Evan. Uh, what about this bun bun? Yeah, that one needs to be released as well. This Brocoblin also needs to be- wait, no, it has actually decent stats for breeding, so we'll keep it. This one is also decent. I don't think we have that many more trash Thames to, like, that are actually good for releasing. I mean, like, we have loads of trash Thames, but ones that are good for releasing? Not sure about that. Because, like, we have all of these Sparzies that we need to breed, too. Oh, gosh. But that's like... Here, why don't I... This one has poor fertility, so we'll release her. This one also has poor fertility, so we'll release him. I have a, I have a like, Sparzy breeding project that I've just been ignoring for a little bit. <laughs> You're watching Battle Girls Time Paradox, says Evil Nala. Ooh, that sounds fun. I don't know what it is, but it sounds fun. Let's see... Oh, I know what we should do. We should go to Psy Park while we're waiting for these to, uh, to hatch. Why don't we go to Psy Park? Boop. Traveling to Psy Park. BRB. <laughs> so Psy Park, for those who, uh, haven't seen it yet, is, uh, 
basically, it's inspired by the Safari Zone in Pokemon, right? As many things in this game are inspired by Pokemon. Um, so it has two different Tem species per week with various bonuses applied to those Tems. It's all it's all random. Or maybe it's handpicked, I don't know. But I think it's random. Um, so anyway, we're going to go over to the actual entrance right here. And we can look at this board to see what uh, the current Tems and stats are. So we get to pay 3200 Pansons for 19 Psy cards. And this price doubles each time you want to buy more Psy cards. Um, so it's kind of expensive if you don't catch like... Like if you catch like two sets of them it's not too expensive and you can probably profit. But after a certain point it's like, okay you have to really want the, the prize I guess. Um, so you can see uh, this week there's Psypats in here. They have a normal spawn ratio or like... Is it a normal spawn ratio or just like... A guaranteed spawn rate. I don't think it's guaranteed. Well, it might be guaranteed, actually. Anyway. Um, the Luma ratio is times one. So that's a normal uh, one in like 7,500 Luma chance. Chance? Um, the minimum SVs it has are 33. So I believe all of its SVs are going to be 33 or higher. Um, then it's egg techniques. It has a 16% chance to have egg techniques when you catch it here in the wild. Same with Hazrat, 100% spawn ratio, normal Luma ratio. Minimum SVs are 32 and egg technique chance is 8%. So we're going to be catching Hazrats because they're actually like more valuable, I think. So Hazrats are in these little cave areas. Hmm. Sure. Sure, that makes sense, Evil Nala. Oh, we already have an egg laid at the breeding center again. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see, welcome to Psy Park. We're going to grab 19 Psy cards. So, uh, when you buy Psy cards, they expire at the end of the week, so you gotta use them before the end of the week on Monday. Um, the week resets like between Sunday and Monday. Um, and Psy cards have a really high capture chance, I think, but not guaranteed, so just be aware of that, I suppose. <laughs> um, I think Babawa and Flufet would be a pretty decent capturing team. Not entirely sure. I guess it depends on what level the Hazrats are. Um, and you can get unlimited encounters, so if you're, like, shiny hunting and you only have, like, five Psy cards, you can get as many, you can, like, wait until you find a shiny, and then, or a Luma, or whatever, and then, um, and then throw your cards. So, yeah. Uh, what was I doing? Decoy on her, and lure, wait, yeah, and lure on her. Lure, 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 there we go. <laughs> No, yeah, I get you, Evan. Oh, interesting. Interesting, I see. Okay, so let's try and find some Hazrats in here and see if we can uh, catch them without accidentally knocking them out. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I should probably give Babawa her, um, her slime ability, maybe? Yeah, slime and sharp leaf, that'll do. And then, um, for Flufet, we'll just give her kick, because that's like the only actual move that she can use, really, that won't knock stuff out, or like won't guaranteed knock stuff out at low levels. Sometimes it still does, but... <laughs> hmm, sure. As they often do in, uh, fiction, I guess. Let's see, Sharp Leaf, we'll use it on the higher level one first. And then we'll just have Flufet, like, sit there, I guess. Ah, okay, perfect. So it is one-fourth effectiveness, so it's not gonna knock them out. Get some rest, Flufet. Uh... I'm gonna slime it and then we'll throw cards at it. And I'm gonna kick this one and see if it knocks it out. It probably... Oh, it doesn't. That's really good, actually. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, not Toxin Shower. That's gonna hurt Babawa quite a bit, unfortunately. Uh, not Toxin Shower again. So, because they have the evading um, status right now, or this one has the evading status, that's gonna kind of cancel out the bonus that we get from uh, having that net. That little uh, slime trap effect. So, we're just gonna try and capture this one because it doesn't have the evasion anymore. And we have Babawa rest because she heals when she- Really? I did not think that would- I did not- I thought that would work. Dang, okay. I totally thought that would work. Okay, we're gonna try again and see just like- just like how hard is this to capture? <laughs> with this- with the side cards. Because the side cards have like a really high chance of capture. I'm surprised that didn't work with it at such a low HP. Okay, so as you can see, this rat has lots of good stats, but it's not, like, great, I guess? I'm probably gonna release it, to be honest. Because I don't think I'll be able to sell it. I mean, I might be able to. Maybe. Maybe I'll- maybe I'll- Damn it. Not again. And it's evading again, which is unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate. Because <laughs> it's covered in a net. Because it's, uh, you know, trapped. Okay, so it did hurt itself from, like, overexertion there. So what I'm gonna do... A good rat, but not peak rat. Exactly, exactly. Not peak rat, just good. Just regular good rat. Uh, I am going to slime it, and then we'll wait and we'll throw a card next turn when it's slimed and low HP. We'll throw a couple. I'm really hoping the first one gets it though, because I don't want to waste Psy cards, you know? There we go. Good. You've caught Hazrat. Ew. This one's kind of shitty, actually. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll toss that one. We'll release it. And we got 20 XP for our Tamer Pass, just for capturing Thames. I've been doing a lot of, like, temp capture farming, which is one way that I got, like, three levels on my Battle Pass. Well, I, I got two levels. I got to level three. Uh, but anyway, I got, I got, like, I got some levels on my Battle Pass before I even got to Endgame, which is kind of unusual, I guess. Because it's really hard to get uh, levels until you get to, 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 to post-game, or whatever. Space Mousy has zero levels. Well, you start at level one, but yes. Yes. that. So I, I got two levels from there. But it, did, it does take a while until you, like, actually get, you know, to post-game, I guess. Because the real reason I have, like, six levels at the moment, or whatever, is be- like, specifically because of the, um... The fucking... what am I talking about? I have no idea. What, what was I saying? Specifically because of the, the- the weekly quests. The weekly quests. That's what I was going to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the weekly quest is basically how I've gotten so many levels already. But I don't recommend rushing to the end of the game just to get weekly weekly quests either, because that's just a pain in the ass. Let's try that one, and then uh, we'll do the other one too. Because yeah, it's like 2,000 XP for some of the battle, qu battle pass quests, or the weekly quests. Which is a lot. <laughs> and then a lot of the end game activities give experience as well. But they don't give that much. So like they're not- I, I think they're actually not as efficient as what we're doing right now, just capturing tens. Like for real, I don't think they're as efficient as just doing this. Like time efficient, I mean. But it does- it, do, it is good because, like, you don't want to just grind Thames all the time. You don't want to just capture Thames all fucking day. So it's nice to at least have, like, other activities that give you points outside of fucking, you know, grinding. <laughs> um, plus, like, 
you can get other... Well, yeah, we'll just sidecard both of them. Or attempt to. Um, especially because, like, you do get rewards for grinding tens like this. Like, you can sell them to other players. There you go, you got gold as a reward. You can, um... Re re you know, release them for rewards. You can breed them for rewards. You know, like... Well, you can breed them to sell them to other players to get rewards. <laughs> but, like, you know what I mean? Like... Nah. I don't like this. I don't. We're gonna slime it and try another side card. I don't like that I'm wasting side cards, though. But, like... I don't know, it's just, it's just, and I'm, I really am still hoping that they update the battle pass with more and easier to get, like, XP. Like they were, I mean, they, I, I guess we're probably overdue, for, or maybe not overdue, but like due for that um, update where NPC tamer battles will give XP. We're probably, probably gonna get that soon, hopefully. And then I'm hoping that along with that, they also just like make make it easier to get XP overall, like give you more XP, because like the way the way that it as it stands, it's like gonna be super hard to complete the battle pass even if you're playing really hardcore like I am, which is not good. Like especially since I missed a week of weeklies or maybe two weeks of weekly quests. No, I think I got I think I got well kind of. I got. I missed week one, and then I missed several weeklies on week two because I just couldn't do them yet. Um, and then even this week, I'm not going to get all of my weeklies. So it's going to be a bit rough to max out the thing. And I guess at that point, you just have to, it, it's a matter of like, do you believe that everyone should be able to max out the battle pass, right? Or do you believe that the battle pass isn't necessarily meant to be maxed out by everyone? Because, like... I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I don't know if I think that yes, everyone who buys it should get every item on it. Well, I mean, yes, they should. Just like, from a, from a, from a like, standpoint of like... You know, like, oh, you're paying money for something, you should get something. Right? Like, just, but that's a flaw of battle passes in general. But, like, as long as we're doing battle passes, do I think that, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, because it's like... So, like, if battle passes weren't paid, right, do I think that everyone should be able to complete the battle pass, imagining that it's not a free, or that it's not a paid item, right? If it wasn't a paid item, no. I would think not everybody should be able to complete the battle pass. Because some people aren't going to spend that much time on the game. And they're... Right. Right, Space Mousy. Yeah, I think that's a good way of doing it. And I would very much appreciate if Temtem did it that way as well. Oh my god, come on. Hazrat, please. Please, Hazrat, please. Okay, uh, let me- we're just gonna- we might knock it out by accident, but I don't think so. But like- oh yeah, we knocked it out. God damn it. <laughs> Oops. Um, but like, the, the- the reason I don't think everyone should be able to complete it, if it were not a paid item, is like- I mean, yes, I like the idea of it being like, the kind of thing that you can work on forever. But if the devs want to make it an event type thing, or, you know, like a seasonal event type thing, I think that's valid too. Again, in the in this scenario where it's a free, a free event, right? Because I think a lot of gamers are like, casual players aren't going to be able to get every single reward from, you know, from this, from this event that you're holding. Oh no, no worries, Korgoth, no worries. Uh, but like people are all always saying, you know, like, oh, I should be able to get every single reward from this event. Everybody should be able to do it. And I don't think that's true. Like, I think there should be scenarios where, um, like, hardcore players get more rewards than casuals. Because they're putting way more time and effort into the game and like, yeah, they should get rewards for that, right? But I think people definitely have this, like, idea that 
if it's an event in a game that has a lot of items, you should be able to get all of those items, no matter how casual you are. It's like... No? I don't know, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's- I don't think that's correct. I think that if you have to, like, if you have to miss some items because you don't have time to play the game, that's fine. And obviously it's diff it's different if it's not, like, just cosmetics, right? It's just cosmetics in this case, and it, I- and we're- we're imagining a scenario where it's free. So, like, in- in this imaginary scenario, I think, no, absolutely, hardcores should get more items than casuals. And, and maybe this isn't even something that people care about. Maybe people- there's increased XP in the battle pass. No, it's increased battle pass XP, I'm pretty sure. It's- it's literally XP for the battle pass. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's literally just cosmetics. Don't most games do the two-tier thing where it's like, here, you didn't pay, you get this. And then the ones who do get both tiers, yes. Yes. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit space mousey. Oh. Oh. But um What was I saying? Oh yeah. I don't know if anyone actually feels this way outside of like the virtual pet niche, but like virtual pet game players are so and so fucking entitled. Where it's like, oh here's here's this this cosmetic that I really want, but it's locked behind like six hours of you know playing the game in a month. Oh no, I can't get it. That's mean or whatever, you know. It's so weird to me. Um, but yeah, um, pardon me, I'm burpy from soda. But like, I do, I do think there's problems with battle passes as a- as an idea. Like, mainly because fucking... You can pay money and not get anything. I think if- I think if like, even if there is just one cosmetic that you get from level one from paying money for it, I think that would make me less upset about it. And it's not like- like I'm not irreparably upset with that- with the Temtem debts, I'm just like, yeah. No, I can see why people are upset about it. I don't think they should be negative review bombing the game, because it's a good fucking game, and if you don't like it, don't- Well, I mean, I would say if you don't like it, don't buy it, but there's also, like, there's- I don't know, there's Kickstarter backers. But also, like, like, if you don't like the pass, don't buy the pass. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just- maybe- maybe I'm the weird one here. I don't know. Oh my god, really? Come on. See, that's- oh no, it killed. Oh well. I didn't think that would kill. Oh well. I really need to learn not to do that. <laughs> More hazrats, yay! I mean, that's the thing, is, like, some people cannot put six hours in. But they're not, like, like, then you don't get the item, right? Like, if you cannot afford a cosmetic item, then you don't buy it. You don't get it. If you cannot afford to spend the time to get a cosmetic item, then you don't get it. You know? Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. I think people are weird about it. Maybe it's just me, though. Maybe I am secretly the weird one. And again, I think like people are less upset about it, about this kind of thing, than I'm making it out to be. I think it's mainly just like I spend way too much time in virtual pet circles, which are just like... The devs are- the devs monetize the game. Wow, I can't believe they're so greedy and it's like... They're losing money on this game 99% of the time. <laughs> like, like, not even speaking about the labor that they spend. Stealth Pro. You s Oh my gosh. I feel like every time you say something in my stream I have to announce, guys, he's joking. He's actually cool. Guys, don't worry about it. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, seriously? 
Oh my god, this fucking Hazrat right now. I don't think we're gonna farm Hazrats after this, guys. This is too irritating for me. <laughs> this is too fucking irritating. I mean, I guess their ca capture rate is just really bad, but like, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm guessing Fortnite got lots of crap, but one of the reasons Fortnite gets lots of crap is also just because people are like kids started playing it and everyone hates children, so it's now not cool to play Fortnite. You know, the same thing that Minecraft went through where Oh my god, seriously, meh. Wow. But like the same thing where that Minecraft went through where like kids started playing Minecraft Oh my god. Was that our last side card? I think that might have been our last side card. It's fucking Hazrat right now. It's gonna knock itself out. No, it didn't knock itself out. Old old people are bitches, but most kids do suck. True, our words have never been spoken. For real, though. Kids, kids do suck, but also, like, something isn't a bad or dumb thing because kids like it. It's even worse with, with, with teenage girls or, like, young, young girls. Anything that, that develops a fan base of young girls is immediately hated by everyone. <laughs> yeah, I vaguely remember that, Korgoth, because I know before before Epic got, like, really big, um, and, like, has their own storefront and shit now, they uh, were making, what was it fucking called? It was like, hold on, I gotta look this up. Let's see. Epic Games MOBA. What is it called? Paragon. It's called Paragon, and I played it, but I had to stop playing it. It was kind of like a third-person MOBA shooter type thing. Kind of like Smite, but different. And I, could, I had to stop playing it because it was so ugly. Like, people, people, for some, like... I googled it at one point. I was like, Paragon Graphics. Somebody else has to think that this game is but ugly. And nobody does. I'm the only person on the internet who hates that game's graphics. They're so unappealing. Every character looks the same. And it's just like gray and washed out. And it's like supposed to be gritty, but it doesn't even look gritty. It just looks... bad? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, Korgoth. That makes sense. Both from a teenage girl perspective and from a people hating it perspective. I mean, like, it, people are not right to hate it for that reason, but it, it it's not surprising. <laughs> I'm gonna check on my auctions real quick. Also, I've been thinking of doing rigging. Would you guys be interested in a rigging stream soon? Either whenever I get tired of Temtem, which might be soon because I'm probably going to crash soon. Or, I don't know, after we go back to the, to the breeding place and grab some eggs or something. Yeah. Yeah, Fortnite is just focused on the Battle Royale now. Though I don't blame them because of how successful it's been. Let's see, um, do we get any sales? No, no sales. Uh, in which case... Actually, let me check the item auctions real quick and see if there's anything interesting to bid on. A 10 spotter for cheap. I'll bid, why not? Incubator tickets... More really cheap 10 spotters, which I'm certainly going to get outbid on. And then we'll just go to the breeding... Center. Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem Stealth Pro. Okay, water- I've been watered. Oh yeah, see we've already been outbid on a bunch of these auctions. <laughs> okay. So we got a couple of eggs, I'm gonna put them in our inventory. Wait. Did we just already get them? Or No, these are from earlier, I think. Yeah, these are from earlier. And they're about to hatch! How nice. Uh, but I might set up for a rigging stream in just a second. We'll watch the rollers hatch and then we'll- wait. Hold on. There's another egg. Where did it go? There it is. Because it's like 30 seconds until these rollers hatch. And then I'll, uh, we'll do a creative stream. Forgoth used to play an old school MMO called Tibia. <laughs> the graphics are so bad. Yeah, I remember wanting to play Tibia at one point, but it just 
Like, it, it, it kept sounding almost appealing, but not quite. Like, to, to my gamer taste at the, at, the, at the time, I guess. We got a new roller who's almost perfect, but only has thick skin, unfortunately. Um, we got another roller who has tardy rush and shit stats, but we were going to sell it anyway. So let me just put it in the sales box so I don't forget that I was going to sell it. There we go. Okay. I feel like I need more caffeine. Um, I might take our second break a little bit early just so I can get up, stretch, and get more caffeine. Um, but then we'll do an art stream. And that does mean uh, we'll have ads in the middle of the, the art stream. But uh, I think I need to get up and stretch because I'm crashing a little bit. But I still want to keep streaming. Alright, so. BRB, folks.
Okay, hello everyone. One moment quickly. Why is it showing my fucking steam? One second. Is this what is this what it's showing it? I think I still have No? What is showing this? <laughs> Hold on. Thank you for the welcome back. Um I went ahead and took Wow, where what is showing this thing? Well, I don't know what is showing uh, my Steam, but let me open Clip Studio Paint and see if that fixes it. Because we are on... Oh, hi. Hi, Streamlabs. <laughs> oh, it's just showing my monitor? Weird. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and start an art stream. Um, I sat back a little bit so the audio might be different. Let me exit Temtem real quick and we will change the category on the stream. And uh, then we'll start doing some rigging. I did take a quick booster pill for uh, my wakefulness. So I should be perking up soon. Also, let me go put some music on for myself. Because I like my own music. You guys are welcome to put your own music on, because, uh, you won't be able to hear mine. Or you shouldn't be able to, anyway. So. Category change. Art. Art. There we go. Digital art tag. Oh, wait. Hold on, I have to actually update the title of the stream. There we go. Title has been updated. Again, you guys let me know if the sound is weird or anything like that. It might be a little bit different than usual. And the tracking will definitely be a diff bit different than usual. Let me actually, um... One moment. Let me just, let me just recalibrate this thing. Okay, there we go. This should be a bit more normal. And I will move Streamlabs back to the usual spot, because uh, we're going to be using Life 2D Cubism for a bit. Ah, there we go. I'm going to have to move this a little bit so I can see better <laughs> on Streamlabs. Okay. Uh, so... The next thing we're working on, we're going to be working on my life night, my new life 2D VTuber model. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of it uh, done, at least of, as far as the face goes. Let me real quick make the hair invisible again, because it's just going to look weird for now if we move it around. As you can see, we'll move it and the hair doesn't really move. So... I just want to show you guys what's going on with the face. So we've got turn it. Do it. Does it show properly? Yes, it does. <laughs> we've got the face turning kind of down. It still needs work. Uh, the actual movements between certain parts of it are a bit uncanny. Like uh, like this. I see. I see an issue with the cheek right here, where uh, it looks like it's much like wider here and then as you go up it slowly kind of like turns in and then just turns in a lot as you uh as she turns down which is not i don't think it should look that way i think this is fine and i think this might be fine but i'm gonna probably uh make it a little bit bigger on this side uh and then if you look over this way i feel like this looks pretty good aside from the eyes look a bit funny Actually, I know why the eyes look funny. At least I have an idea. Because they're in an arc here. Uh, kind of like because the face is uh, facing up, if that makes sense. Up and to the side. So there's a there's a little bit like of ar an arc effect going on with the eyes. Where like you can see the middle of them turn up a little bit here. You can see the middle of them is normal and it turns up. Exactly. Exactly. 
And then over here in just the front facing Y view, it's just perfectly straight. It's not in the arc. It's just like this, but basically like turned up a little bit. So what I am going to do is quickly uh, do some edits to this so that this also looks like it's going in an arc. Theoretically, that's what we're doing at least. Hold on. Okay. So let me just, no, that's not what I meant to do. Hold on. I'm going to have to use my other hand for this. I was using it to hold a Pepsi, but that's not going to, that's not going to work. Not going to work the way I thought it might. So that's a small change, but it might make it look like a lot better. It already, it's already making progress toward what I want it to look like. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about, Korgoth. Um, let's see. Face features are right here. So, um, I'm gonna just turn this bit up a little bit. Hold on, let me get a sip of Pepsi. <laughs> Well, we might be able to. We might be able to do that once this uh, model is finished. In theory. Yeah, see, that looks a lot better to me already. And then if we look around here. I feel like that looks more natural. And then again, there's still a lot of issues with it. But it looks pretty 3D, which is awesome. It really does look pretty 3D. Very nice. So, I'm going to save that. And uh, the next thing we need to do is actually very tedious and boring. Is we need to make meshes for each of these bangs parts things. Um, so, hmm, how am I going to do this? Because, like... Actually, yeah, I know how I'm going to do it. Never mind. Uh, so the front of the bangs, this is the uh, the lines for this front bang part. And we have to make a mesh for it because it currently it just has this box where like uh, if we if we want to move part of the box there, you know, if we want to move this part. It just looks like that. And that's not how it should look at all. OK. So. I'm gonna go mesh edit mode. I'm gonna delete the existing mesh. And this is, I'm still really learning about like mesh creation. There's still a lot that I don't know about mesh creation. Okay. And there we go. And that's gonna be the kind of like the center of the mesh. I'm gonna move some of these around. I need to really need to learn hotkeys for this program so I can actually like properly use hotkeys and, and improve my workflow, I guess. All right, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to make, now we're going to make more little bits, little bits. So that's just kind of like the spine of what we're working with. So now I'm going to go actually here, let me move that a little bit. We're going to go in kind of in between these little guys, these little dots. Doot, 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 doot. Well, I might have to edit these a little bit as we go along. Because I, again, I'm still learning how to like actually effectively make meshes, like make effective meshes, however you would say that phrase. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move these a little bit further this way, I guess. Not like that, but like that, maybe. Kind of like that. And then we are going to add a couple of new points right there. And yeah, see, I really need my keys so badly. Um, And then...
Uh, and then we're going to probably autofill this. Or actually, hold on. Yeah, no, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and autofill this. Boop, boop, boop. Now we've got a mesh for the hair. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this mesh and paste it for the other bits of the bangs that don't have meshes yet because it's just the same shape. It's the same shape. So we can just copy and paste. Although actually for the line art we may need to make the mesh a little bit different now that I think about it. But the, like, these pieces, we can definitely make the same as each other. And uh, we can also copy and paste this for the, the yellow part of the bangs, because it's the same shape again. Okay, so for this line art, actually, we're going to want it a little bit different, I think. So let me just get rid of these. Just get rid of all of this nonsense. Doot, doot. Do it all the middle ones because we're actually going to want to make it different than this, I think. This might not be right, actually. I might, I might be wrong about this. Hmm, actually, yeah, let's just try it this way. And if it ends up being weird, we'll change it. There, we'll, we'll just change it if it's weird. And now, what we can do is we can kind of like move this thing and look, the hair just like bends. It doesn't bend super great, but it bends. Uh, oh, let's undo that, please. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then if we try to do the same thing with, like, where are these? So if we try it, we're trying If we were to try to do the same thing with these yellow bangs without having a mesh on them yet, let's try and use one of these. Kind of the same idea. It'll just look like that because it, does, it, does, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Until you put a mesh on it, basically. Okay, so we'll make this visible again, and then uh, let me just copy this mesh again. And we will copy and paste all of this to the uh, yellow part, but we'll, like, move it? Or is this smaller? This might be smaller. Might be smaller. Oh, and it's still got the square around it. Okay, this is actually a different shape, I think. I thought it was the same shape. Is it, is it not the same shape? Strange. Hmm. Well, I totally thought it was the same, but maybe it's not. Okay. Generally, you want these meshes to be pretty tight. I think. Like, not- you don't want, like, a- you know, you don't want it to be huge compared to the- to the- to the shape you're trying to move. But also, the more points you make, the, like, harder it will be for your computer to process the motion. It'll take up more GPU, I believe. Or more phone. <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing there, same thing here. Uh, and the colors on this are weird because I misunderstood the way that uh, layer, like, modify, or like, like layer effects. I misunderstood the way that layer effects work in uh, this program. So I'm gonna have to re recolor the uh, highlights and shadows on the hair, which is why it's like pink looking right now. Okay, so this one's done. Then we're gonna have to do this one as well, which is, again, a different shape than the, the others. So, oh, I should have made that a different shape too, but that's okay. We can technically modify it later if we really want to. If we really want to. I think we're gonna need more points on this. Just because it's like the more points you have, the more fluid the movements are gonna look. 
but again the more processing power it'll take or like not processing power but like graphics card i don't know maybe both <laughs> probably both it will just take more power to to process yeah pro processing power i don't know <laughs> anyhow it'll be harder for your computer to make it move But the movements will look much smoother and less blocky when you uh, change the shape of something. And we'll go at first I'm gonna um move this real quick. Okay, and then we're going to auto-connect. And that'll be our hair. Our hair lines, at least. Lines for our hair. For this piece of the hair, specifically. And same thing with this. Okay. And now... Actually, let me let me try it. See if I can demonstrate like how because this has more points than the yellow or the pink one. So let me see if I can demonstrate like what it looks like when you have more points compared to like the other ones. And we don't need that many. Okay. So when we curve this one a little bit. Can see it kind of like looks well. It, lo it does look kind of blocky in some parts. So here, let's just do this with it, uh, but just as a demonstration. Like you see how this part here, right here, looks flat and not curved. That is because this part of the th this it doesn't have enough uh, points basically. Uh, and if we move it over here again, it gets really flat on that part. So if we just add more points, it'll it'll smooth out a little bit. So I might do that because like the hair is gonna be wiggling and stuff a lot. <laughs> so and it'll look even worse on these because these don't have as many points. I don't think even. Uh, we have the the pink one has has uh, one of these things on it. So we'll show the pink one and how... Actually, the pink one looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. But yeah, you can see it's a little bit blocky on some parts. And, uh... Damn it, I'll have to update all of those art meshes at once. Shoot. I might leave it like this for now, and then we can always, like, change our mind later if, uh... We want to add more points. I mean, it'll it'll be tougher if we don't do it up front, but whatever. I don't fucking care. I do care, but I'm lazy and tired. Okay, so we're gonna do kind of the same thing with this guy. What is the hotkey for this? There, I don't think there is a hotkey. That sucks. Maybe there is, and I'm just being silly. Auto connect that and then we'll copy and paste. And we'll do the same with this. Uh this is a this is a, a point at which like it gets annoying to have so so many layers. <clears throat> Cause like I have to I have to edit them all separately. Uh I might combine them at some point, but not yet, I don't think. So Actually, I'm not entirely sure how I want these to move when turning. But, like, these I definitely want to, like... Hmm. I guess I'll try this one first. So. We'll put these. We'll, we'll give them, like, a little movement thingy. Wait, why does that look weird? <laughs> 
That's nice. I like that. Okay. I'm trying to think of, like, how, how do I want this to go? Like, kind of like that, I guess? But then, like... Like, how would it look in motion is what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I guess one thing I was waiting... I, 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 one thing I was trying to do was... I want this to be like, pardon me, I want this to be like on this part of the forehead, but we don't want, we obviously we don't want this air, this this blank space to be showing. Hmm, we'll put another point on this thingy, we'll move it, move it a little bit. No, don't do that. Silly thing. Silly program. Yeah, so like that looks a little bit better. In a way. I mean, obviously we need to make these other ones like invisible for now. For it to look properly. Or look, look good. Look, look, look. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is put another one of these right here. Hmm. Not sure about that though. We do have other tools to change, like, how these look, like, this thingy could potentially be helpful. Oh yeah, that that's helpful, but that's a bit helpful. Hmm. However, we need to edit the pink one along with the, um, dark one. So let me see how if if editing this part helps a little bit. Oh right, we need to actually make it visible. <laughs> I think that's too big to be helpful, actually. So we can just uh select all of these, make that a little bit bigger. Actually. We'll just select these parts and pull them down a little bit. But we won't we won't pull that part down at all. Like a problem I run into with uh this kind these kinds of changes is that I, I'm really like particular about making changes that I think aren't like optimal, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. Like, if they won't, like, I want to make changes that, uh, hold on, why is this doing that? Um, like, changes that will like interact with other changes in a weird way I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Okay.
I do like that brush tool a lot, though. I kind of do want it to move like outward like that a little bit almost. Yeah, this is going to need more points on it, I'm pretty sure. Because right now it just looks funky. Funky and. Not sure how to fix it. Hmm, I do think one problem with it is that this is just a little bit like too far out, I guess? I'm not sure if that makes any sense actually. Oh, I see. It's because it's not very straight originally. Okay. So, like, the curves are. Okay, that makes sense. The curves are, like, distorting the way it looks because we don't have enough points, if that makes sense. Let's see. This will do it for now, I think. I'll just say this is a different version and then... We can adjust it later if we want to add more points. It'll be easier to adjust it from the old version, I guess. Also... I will make some changes here. Uh, potentially. Where... Remove this a little bit that way, just to make sure it's on the right part of the head. Or, maybe instead of just the under part of the bangs, you can do just like the, the all of the parts of the bangs here. Let's try that. There we go. Yeah, that'll help. That'll help a lot, actually. The cool part about deformers... What is the cool part about deformers? I don't know. They're cool. Trust me on that one. I also think for this angle we want to slightly go this way just a little bit. This stuff can be so slow to do. Try something. Wait no. Undo. See what this looks like without. Oh, <laughs> never mind. We're good. We're put it back. Put it back. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty uncanny. So, actually, okay. Does this have that? Does. Let's get rid of these key forms and we'll just try to do it using deformers. Do do what we're trying to do using deformers. Wait, how did those get... How, how come these are getting moved? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Get rid of these two, then. 
I will just see if we can do what we want to do here. Are we just using deformers? Or like this specific deformer? <laughs> kind of a kind of a test run what we're doing right now. Because I've I've never worked with hair in this way. Like I have worked with hair kind of a little bit on Figasis model, but not much, I guess, if that makes sense. Like The formers are so cool, actually. You really want to get an even, like, pressure on these if you can. Yeah, that's good enough, I suppose. Actually, no. No. We can do better. See, like, this looks so much better than the other one. Because we're just deforming shit, not like... Yeah. Not like changing the the shape of the mesh. I used to do a lot of like mesh shape changing, but I'm kind of learning like how to how to do a little bit more of like deformation, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. We do that. Hmm. Okay, it needs to go a little bit further to the right. Rah. Nope. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, here we go. Maybe... Okay, hold on. Let me look at something. Needs to move a little bit, the whole thing, like, to the right? Maybe? Not that much to the right, just a little bit. Just a teeny bit further left. Okay, then we gotta solve this issue. Which we might be able to get away with using this deformer for that. Maybe. Ah, no, stop that. Select it again, you dingus. Okay, it's not going to select that for me again. So we'll just uh, do something like that, kind of. Ooh, that looks nice. See, look at that, it's just increasing in size. <laughs> We're gonna take this part. Oh no! Don't rotate it. Just move it a little bit. Move a little bit higher. Or not quite. So we're gonna move like this part, maybe. Just gotta stretch it. Just gotta stretch it a little bit.
How about we do that? And then... See, I don't even know if this is going to work. I need a little bit further over here, too. Because basically what we're looking to do is just make this cover all of that nonsense. Like I said, I don't even know this is going to work. Oh, no, 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 wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> no. That doesn't need to look that way. Hmm, hold on. Yeah, wrong one. I keep selecting the wrong one, damn it. <laughs> We're almost there. Actually, I haven't even looked how how does this even look? Not great. <laughs> we need oh no, that's not the tool I wanted to use. What if we also move this back a little bit? Like not like that. But like this. We also move that back a little bit. Not quite, not quite. I'm probably just making this harder for myself than it needs to be, to be honest. doesn't help that this whole thing is very distorted now. It doesn't even do anything. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> God damn it. Let me check something. Yeah, see that's that's what we need it to look like more or less. Except we need this. We need this to move a little bit so it doesn't look like it's just like growing, I guess. Okay. Did I? These don't totally don't have keyforms. Oops. Oh, wait, no. 
We'll put them on... What layer are these on? 6.30? Okay, we'll put them on 6.30. And then, someone, oh, no, not opacity. No opacity changes, please. Just change that. Hmm. Now I need to get rid of this part. Yeah, see this looks better. Kind of, because... Hmm... Oh! What did I select? Oh, okay. Why is that there? What? Did I move that by accident? I sure did. Okay, we'll put that there, except, uh, hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's do this, but then we'll change the layer, the raw order to where it's behind the, f the head. And we'll move this a little bit further, like that. In a, like, almost. And then... What if we change the draw order on this to... No further. Not quite. Not quite what I want it to look like. But it's a step in the right direction, potentially. And, like, that's a good transition to a different draw order. The only problem is... This part needs to... Well, first of all, this thing needs to fuck off. Uh, and then we'll just... Does it not... Does it... It totally has... Key farms, but like... Okay, so first things first. Stop what you're doing right here. Right now. Okay, so we'll put that there. Or will we? Okay, hold on. No, we're keeping it the way it was. Just like... Okay. Hmm. Why do those look like that? Didn't I put it behind there? I totally did. Alright, come on. We're redoing all of this. Nonsense. Okay, there we go. And then these bangs will go. Oh god, no. Just the front bangs, please. Get rid of this nonsense, please. Get rid of the fucking this thing. Get rid of it, please. Just get rid of that nonsense. Is it still on these? No. Good. And we'll just move this, like, very slightly, very slightly. Alright, so that's like... This is kind of hacked together. Unfortunately, I'll probably end up trying again with more with what I learned on a different uh, version of this. Okay, and this one goes draw order goes all the way down. There you go. Hmm, what's the draw order on these right here? 494. Okay, we'll do 494 here as well. There we go. So we'll do 495 just because. Oh, that looks terrible. 
Because it's not like... Okay, we're not going to make the... We're, we're going to keep the draw order normal here. However... We are going to take one of these. Potentially. And just move this a little bit further out of the way of the face. And we gotta move this a little bit because the angle on it is weird. Like, it needs to be a bit higher, I guess. Okay, so we'll take these. Move that sucker up. However... Yeah, this needs way more points. That's okay, though. See, that looks so much more naturally. And then the pink bit does need to continue moving a bit further away from the eye. Um, do -do 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 -do. Does need to move like a little bit further away from the face. Because not only are, is it like turning, like it needs to stay in the same position relative to the eye, but like to add a sense of depth to it, we need to make it a bit further away, if that makes sense. Like this one will be closer to the eye too. Yeah, and it's looking a bit chunky now. Which just shows that we need a better mesh. More or less. Especially just because of the hair is curved. Like, if I had drawn the hair totally straight, this wouldn't be a problem as much. But also, that sounds like a pain in the ass, so... Get the right shape. This actually doesn't look too bad. Like, I think, I think there needs adjustments, there needs to be adjustments right here still, like, a lot. Thank you for the Heidi Redeemed Space Mousy. Hydration has been achieved. Oh, thank you for the bad Joker Dean figgies. Hmm. Space Mousy just got the four leaf clover. I actually still don't have it, Space Mousy. That's a that is an item that I still do not have. Uh I haven't forgotten your bad joke, figgies. Uh, I know I'm having a really hard time rigging this hair, but, I mean, what did you expect? I'm much better with rabbits. Thank you, Figgies. Thank you for the applause for my, my joke. Hmm. That doesn't look quite right still. And then the hair here feels like it, it goes out a bit too far. Oh, see, this looks good. This looks decent. Yeah, that actually looks decent. 
<laughs> the rest of it still needs work, but like, it's not bad either, so. And that is a problem, though. Let me see, uh, see what happens if I just paste this here, and then like, oh, actually, yeah, that looks decent, not gonna lie. Wait, no, it doesn't. Kinda does, kinda do, but kinda don't. It's, it must be because of the way I, I morphed this uh, deformer or something, I don't know. Morph. That's a new new term that I'm coining right now. Okay, so let me see. How is this thing behaving? Is it behaving the way that I think it will? Aha, it is, indeed. Oh, control. There we go. I used the wrong key on my keyboard. Actually, one reason why that looks so wrong is because this should be over further, like much further. Mm, okay, hold on. What if we just move these, like, way over? I think my dog is snoring. He might be snoring. Because that needs to be about the same spot that this is. Like, but... Further forward. Which it kind of is, but not really. Because this needs to kind of like, since the scalp is going back this way, it needs to go back with the scalp. Also, do I not have just like, can I not just do this? Hello? Copy. Paste. Why ain't no copy pasting though? Why ain't no copy paste? Is it copying and pasting? No, it's not. It's not copying and pasting. Or is it? Hold on. Oh, it totally is. Motherfucker. Okay, hold on. What if I just do that? And then... Oh, I see. I see. Kind of. See, this is, this is why I need to just use either a deformer or a mesh normally, because, like, this is, this is very, uh, it's tough, let me say that. This is rough, this is a bit rough. Let's see, what's... 6.30. These need to be 6.30 here as well. Boop. There we go. And I'm really like, I'm not going to be keeping most most of what, the, most of the work we're doing here. Oh wait. Did I not? Is this one not 6.30 here? Or what about this one? Ah, okay. This one didn't get to 6.30 there. For some reason. Uh, but like, this one, also the, this has to be like 550 maybe, just so that the, it goes more smoothly. And then this has to be higher up, I guess. Wait, no. Or maybe, yeah, maybe it does have to be higher up. Or wait, no. 
This part has to be high. This part has to be higher up there. Just so that we can like. So that it can go to the back of the scalp more easily, I guess. And then we'll take these and we'll most we'll keep that, but then or wait. Yeah, that's the way that is. What if we paste this there? Nope, that's even worse. <laughs> Like, again, like I said, I'm not going to keep any of this stuff, but I, I really need to learn how to do what I want to do here, so I'm just going to keep going for a bit. See that? I feel like, I feel like this looks good, aside from the weird shape. Which, actually, instead of doing that, why don't I just fucking... Instead of using that tool, why don't I just... Let me just do this. So that way, like... So that way the actual shape doesn't get, like, moved. It's just... Again, just a different... And then it should probably also move like a little bit higher up. We just need to uh, make sure that we can still show like you know this thing, this little this little dark bit. Hmm. Let's see if I just let's see what happens if I put these under this deformer and then give the deformer some properties. Also let me... Should I remove the properties from these? Here, let's see what happens if I do that. Yeah, that's fine. Or, I say properties. What I mean is key forms. Very, very different. Very, very different. Aside from that, but how... Oh, so it's not actually supposed to do that, is it? Wait... How come it's doing that? What's going on here? Oh, nothing. Nothing's going on there. It's just the head moved. The head moved. The hair didn't move. Or did it? No, the hair's totally moving. What is moving the hair then? In that that part. The fork? What? Unless that's... That's confusing. Cause I took I took the keyforms off of those. Oh, those still have keyforms. Okay. Confusing. Very confusing. Totally moving. No, I guess it's not. Does, does this move at all? It does. Oh, I see what's going on there. Okay. Basically, yeah, okay. It's it's being moved by the bangs X, Y. Okay. In which case... 
We should just move this out of there, because other it's just gonna be weird otherwise. Make the brush a little bit bigger. I am still alive. Fog. I am still alive, yes. Thank you for the fog, I guess. I'm feeling a bit funny. You had to disappear for a bit. Well, I'm glad you reappeared. I've been okay. I am like a little bit crashy, but my medicine should kick in soon. In a theory. In a theory, right? It should kick in soon. It might have already kicked in, actually. We might, I might go back to Temtem soon. I'm getting a little bit, like, meh with rigging. If that makes sense. Getting a little meh about rigging. Actually, let me get rid of this. And the way we moved this here, I just do that here. What? Why is that not doing anything? What the fuck? Why are these guys not moving? They're in there. Oh wait, they're not in there anymore. Never mind. That that would explain why they're not moving. Okay, that's a step forward, theoretically. Theoretically. Okay, wait, why is that loop? <laughs> oh, because these things still have key forms. Okay. Okay, and then this, 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 this is going to move these, like, right over there. Like, damn. And then this is going to move it, like, slightly forward a bit. Like. But then over, okay, it needs to be, like, in the same position that it would normally be in, but, like, slightly to the right, I think. And then this one... Feels like it's in the wrong spot, too. Oh, and then this one needs to be slightly over this way. Maybe. This also needs to... Yeah, Arrogator, I'm just puzzling over hair practice a little bit. Because this is my first time really doing hair for VTuber models. So it's like a bit weird for me. Like this looks right in terms of the flow of it. Obviously like a lot of it isn't right yet. <laughs> Let's just do like 530 there. Yeah see like this is the right actual position for the hair I feel like. We just need to, uh, let's see. We might need to put the hair higher up by default, to be honest. Because I'm not, I'm not super thrilled with, like, the, actually, here's what we could do. Yeah, I'm a bit low energy at the moment as well. Which I'm hoping won't, I won't be for too much longer. Or wait. We'll do, instead of that, we'll do 450 maybe. Yeah, I'm hoping I'll perk up soon. I see this is weird because like...
Oh, also another thing I'm going to have to do is just like rotate this a little tiny bit uh, while I'm removing it because the scalp is rotating in a way. Is it? I don't fucking know. Like I said, I'm being a little bit puzzled over here right now. See, I feel like that's rotating though. Obviously this is not what it's supposed to look like in the end. But I'm trying to get it like steps closer to what it's supposed to look like. Does look kind of cute even though it's wrong though. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrant redeem aggregator. It's weird because this barely moves, but it looks right. But on this wait, what? Does this not have keyforms? What the fuck? What oh that's why everything looks so weird. Why did I when did I remove the keyforms from that thing? What the fuck? That's why everything looks weird. Wait, does it for real? Does it not have keyforms? When did that happen? When did that fucking happen? Oh, oh, we were working on the bangs X Y, not the okay, 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 not the front bangs. Ah, oh. thank you for for agreeing that it looks cute, alligator. I appreciate your feedback. <laughs> Uh, right, this XY is what we're working on. We're working with. This is too far down. We'll make it up a little bit further. We need to move it back a little bit further, even. See, like, that almost looks correct. Except this I don't think it's like- well, actually it might be on the right spot. It doesn't seem to turn as much as the face does, either that or I'm hallucinating. It definitely does not. I'm trying to, like, get the, the actual, like, position correct, and then I'm gonna get, like, the, the, the angle and other various things correct. Like, I think it might, maybe should be rotating here. But I'm not entirely sure. And then, like, this, obviously we don't want this space here. But... Trying to figure out the best way to handle that. Honestly, I probably need a break. And I'll look at this in like half an hour and be like, Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I couldn't see that. You know? Can I just move this, please? Can I- can I- oh, right. Sure, okay. Can I please move that? Hmm. That should move a little bit more though. Like right, right, right here it should move more. The, the hallucinating is not as unlikely as you would think. I, I understand. I understand that big time. Trust me. Like, that almost looks right, but not quite. And then, like, obviously the, like, the, the like, this part? This part's fucking not right. <laughs> oh, actually, here's what we could do is we could make that part invisible and just look at the dark part. Which, obviously, we don't want it to look like that. It's not quite right. 
Like we want it to look like okay, okay, okay. Let me look. Let me let me try this real quick. Uh, and see, I'll see if it just like works out of the box with the rest of the the hair bits, or if we need to keep working on it. Out of the box with the rest of the hair bits, hopefully. Hoping it will work out of the box with the rest of the hair bits. Kind of. It might. I'm not sure. Uh, let me just... That might work. I'm not sure. Except we need to make... If we're going to do it that way, which I'm not sure if we are or not, but if we do it that uh, for now, we'll just assume that we're not going to put it behind the scalp here or the face. And we'll just do it like this. And we'll keep modifying it here. So let me. Need to go a little bit further down. And then. I want to see how this affects the pink part. That actually looks better than before. Do the pink parts have... no. Do these have... no. Oh, I see a problem. So it's longer here. Which makes sense because I made it... I made the key... The, I made the... Um, the deformer longer to, like, get this part going. Which, oh, interesting. This is all very good to know. Very good stuff to know. And then I'm gonna do, oh wow, what? What? Okay, hold on. Let's do that, maybe. Just so that the hair, the pink part, doesn't look like it's just getting longer infinitely. I mean, not infinitely, but like, you know what I mean. It's just, it's getting longer and it shouldn't be. Okay. Still getting a bit longer here. Okay. Because, like, I don't know how I should structure the layers for this, so at the moment I'm just experimenting to see what I feel like looks good with the current layer structure that I'm using, and then I'll change it up and see how it looks and that, that, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's just... no... Oh. Ah! We really don't want this black part to be showing. Or the, not, it's not black, but it's like... Dark turquoise. And we really don't want it to be showing, like, blank space behind it. I guess I didn't make it big enough, or did I? Actually, it doesn't look terrible. Not like terrible, terrible. <laughs> like here, there should be more space showing on like, let me just see if I can get a really much smaller brush size here and uh, no, not that, not that big still, still not that big. Get like something going here. Or, like, that should be, like, it should be a little bit, like, higher up, I guess. And then we need to move the black one, the black part down, but... Ah! Like, theoretically, here, this dark part should be smaller, I think. And then uh, we should be able to see the top, the pink part, but I didn't draw it that way. 
so you literally can't. <laughs> Basically, the entire th reason I started working on this model early was, like, like before I had the body finished, was specifically to identify issues like this that could mean that I have to redraw certain parts. You know? And then this part should make this bit, should make it like need to go up, I guess. I'm just kind of chilling now. This honestly doesn't look that bad. Aside from the fact that this hair is like longer here than it is over here for some reason. Let's fix that. Why is it longer? And now it looks like certain parts of it are shrinking, which they are. Actually, here, let me just go longer. Oh. Yeah, I can fix that though. Obviously, when we do this part, we want it to be like the same overall shape, except uh, like reaching the the middle of the, you know, that, the face. I'm gonna do this. Would hopefully give us the shape we're looking for. Hopefully. Why? Why is this one? This one's totally not in the middle of the face at all. Why is it like that? Why? Why did I? Why did? This, why did I position it that way? That's a little bit better. Still looks a little bit like off. Bottom here is way okay. Let's try that. Why is it why is it so thin there? Why is it so thin looking? Oh my gosh. Well, the plus side is I'm identifying lots of problems like this. That's a very good thing in reality. Hmm. And I'm learning about the tools I'm using. <laughs> oh, good golly. And here it looks like... Like, it looks like it's expanding here. Like, from there to there. Which is because... This just isn't at the right angle or right position. Like here, it looks less of an issue, I guess. Okay, hold on. It's basically, yeah. Hey. Wait, does this thing have- okay, good. It doesn't have cube forms. Wait.
What does it normally like, look like? Because this looks kind of sane, almost. Like, like, it's not an insane series of movements, right? You can, like, you can almost, it's almost readable as, like, movement. <laughs> you know, like, it's almost, it's almost readable as, oh yeah, that's hair, that's what hair does. No, not smaller, just move it. Yeah, smooth it. Smooth it a little bit. Ah. Move. Move slightly. There we go. This one is a little bit thicker just because of some issues with the way I'm doing uh, this thingy medoodle. Look a little bit or bigger, I guess. So, like, that's kind of better. This is the normal, which is very strange. Or very, very, very strange. So I didn't place that one correctly. So for now, we'll just like move this and try to go from there, I guess. Like, look at this. This almost looks like hair. Kind of. It almost looks readable as hair. Like, that looks fine. Aside from, like, some issues with the face. The face shape as well. But, like, those are separate. In a way. Kind of. <laughs> Like, they influence it, but it's not, like, you know. I kind of wonder if, like, instead of rotating it, I should do, like, this kind of thing. Where I just, like, like, warp it a little bit. But I think I should probably just just rotate it instead. Ooh, actually, I can more I can rotate different parts of it. Ooh, I forgot about that. Hmm, that's interesting. I forgot about this. This is a neat trick. So I'm glad I'm trying this out now. Very neat trick. And then, like, hmm, just like rotate. Oh, wow, that is strange. That feels very strange. Oh, okay. Okay, so actually, what I want to do, I think, is do like, like this kind of thing, then rotate it, then move it inward a little bit. That looks interesting. That's really interesting, actually. I like that trick. Very, very neat trick. Also, this needs to go a little bit further to this side to look normal. Cause like it looks like it's not going along the same like angle as like the hair's not going around along the same angle as the face if we do that. And I think what I need to do 
for this is just like give these fucking largeness largeness I don't know I don't know man just like for like it needs to be I did not make the mesh properly here but like for some of these we just need to make it big for it to look more normal Uh, until at least until I adjust the pink part, <laughs> and then eventually we'll give it physics. Wait, what the fuck? I've been streaming for three hours. How did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> I've wait. Have I been doing art stream for ninety minutes already? What? I guess that's what happens when my pills kick in. Is I don't realize that sh time passes. That's probably why I feel like I don't have any time lately, is because I'm, I'm on meds that just make me like, oh yeah, and uh, I've been doing that for two hours. <laughs> what the fuck? What? That's weird. Um... I do think I need a break from this uh, art, though, because, again, I think I'm going to come, well, first, first I'm going to probably, like, actually redraw some of this hair so that it's more compatible with the rig. Um, and then uh, I'm going to uh, take a- well, first I'm going to take a break, then I'm going to redraw it. Then I'm going to attempt this again and uh, actually you kind of use what I learned from this to make it look better and see because if I, once I take a break, like, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, shit, that's what was wrong with that, huh? Yeah, and like already, like right now, I see some issues with the, uh, the face shape that I, before I was like, yeah, it's kind of uncanny, but I don't know why. Whereas like right now I see, so like this, this jawline right here, or like, like if you look at the cheek, like right here on the left. And then I like slowly turn and it's like, okay, so this is kind of the jawline right here. And then we go this way, and the cheek is supposed to kind of go away. But this part right here, which is kind of the back of the jaw, is getting too slim. And, like, also this part of, at the side of the head is getting too slim. And maybe the chin, too, is getting a little bit too slim on this side. But it's, like, it's like barely, like, just slightly, a very slight issue. But it makes it look uncanny and then I think also a similar thing's happening here where this this part needs to be a bit thicker maybe even maybe even like a little bit thicker back here but yeah I think I think I I'm glad about it because I could see that something was wrong but I couldn't identify what it was and just like working with this for long enough I'm like oh yeah I can do that better and that's that'll be a very easy change to make also here I feel like the chin is a bit like, I don't know, something about it is off. And it might also be because the fucking shading, I had to glue it and it's just not looking very good. <laughs> There's like parts right here where you can see through the shadows or whatever. And right here, just when it turns. But yeah, I can fix all of that over time. I am really happy with the shadows overall though. Like, I think they, I think they work pretty well. Um... Then another thing I need to do that'll actually be very easy and will make her like, like I'll be able to show off, show her off a little bit in VTube Studio almost when I do this, is uh, why don't we go ahead and make the eyeballs move? Because I kind of want to show this off before I end the stream. So, uh, can I just put these both in an eyeball deformer? Eyeball X, Y, okay. Please create an object with parent. Okay, whatever. Mm, okay, so I guess I'll actually have to just do one of them and then we'll mirror it. Eyeball X, Y. Or we can just like temporarily. Temporarily, I can do it on the eyeballs separately. The, eye the eyeballs without using a deformer. Um, again, this will be temporary, but um, let's see. So eyeball X and eyeball Y will give keyforms right there. So, when the eyeballs go to the right, obviously, I'm going to try and make these, like, oh wait, actually, I can make them equidistant very easily, so. 
the eyes will go over there. Over that way. When they go to the right. Um, but the thing is, I need to make both of these eyeballs masked to the eye white. So let me do that real quick. Eye white, I think is what it'll be called. Damn, okay. Eye white. I think these are both like copies, so. Eye white 2. Okay. And what's this one called? Eye white 3. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. These will be masked. Well, one of them will be masked to I white two, and the other one will be masked to I white three. Okay, and that prevents them from going outside of the white of the eye. So as you can see, it's just it's just inside the eye because you know that's how eyes work. Um, so eyeball, eyeball. Uh, that's how they look when they go to the right. Uh, let me just we'll copy the motion over. Okay, that won't. Yeah, it will work. Awesome. Fantastic. So this is what it'll look like when she looks to the uh, top right. I might even make this eye go like further. Uh, that's the wrong object. But I might even make this eye go like further just to make it look a bit more dramatic, I guess. Dramatic? I don't know. Uh, anyhow, let me grab this eye and we'll copy that over here real quick and just like have... I mean, since this is just a test, basically, we don't have to, like, the, you know, the, the height of the, oop, the height of the eyeballs doesn't have to be the, exactly the same, but I will move it a little bit just to, to, uh, soothe my OCD, which I don't have, by the way. That's a joke about a disability. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then for the, for the, um, eyeballs being down so let me just see let's just do that and then let me look at this one too i probably shouldn't spend this much time on a on a test but i really i want to show it off so i want to make it look a little at least a little bit good you know so both of these are then gonna go down to this part of the eye so so that's what they're going to look like, more or less. Actually, this might stand to go a little bit lower down. No, no, no. They're fine that way. So then what we're going to do is we're going to reflect motion. Oh, we have to separate these first. And we'll reflect motion on these eyeballs, which basically what that's going to do is it'll uh, set. So we already had it set to what it does when it's down into the right. Now we're making it do down and to the left, and we also have to make it do regular down, because I forgot to do regular down. Um, so let's do that on both of the eyeballs at once, and I'm guessing I forgot to do regular up as well. Okay, so it's a little bit- ah! It's a little bit higher than that, apparently. Oh! <laughs> they're not- they're not going quite right. Hold on. So that's- the, Oh, right, because I didn't- flip that one yet okay and we'll do the same thing here where we'll have it at about that height for both of them okay perfect and then uh we will flip the let's see yeah so on this eyeball we'll flip i think i selected the other eyeball earlier we will reflect motion there and let me see yeah we need reflect motion here as well by the way, for anyone who uses Live 2D, Reflect Motion is different from the right-click Reflect right here. Because uh, if we do that, it's just going to reflect these, like, it'll it'll reverse them basically, so like, so like that. But if you want to copy the motion of, like, something going to the right uh, and make it go to the left on the other side of the parameter, um, you'd use Reflect Motion. So. Now you do this eye, and we reflect motion there. Normally I would just copy and paste these and reflect the X, the, uh, X parameter, but... Oh, I see. Neither of these have a just regular to the left. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll fix that. No. See this one this one goes a little bit further to the left. 
And then... Wait, this one totally doesn't go the right direction, the right distance. Is it supposed to go... Yeah, it's supposed to go further than that. I can't believe I'm nitpicking this so hard, but it's gonna look really good. It's gonna look really good when we're done. Might go a little bit further. That looks good. That looks good too. Okay, so we finally have this part done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this and I invoke after, oh right, the fucking texture atlas. Um, let me just save a new version because I fucking hate texture atlases. Alright, so this will be, this will be a large one. A large texture atlas. Um, I'm hoping that the invisible parts on this model won't be exported. But I guess I'll find out. But anyway, the idea basically here is, wait, where did I export that to? Export to live 2D. Wait, did I did I export it? I thought I did, but now I'm confused. Live 2D. What is this? Yeah, this is the right folder, so we'll just export it like that. Okay, there's all of my test model 14 nonsense. Now I'm gonna open my VTube Studio live 2d models folder and we'll just do we'll just make a folder called al alpaca we'll paste that in and i am going to shut down vtube studio for just a minute so i will disappear but then i'm going to show you what she looks like so far with what the uh what is done it with the rigging oh that's vbridger right okay i was like why isn't why isn't it closed it was just V-Burger wasn't closed. Okay. VTube Studio is starting back up again. There we go, VTube Studio. Blah, 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 blah. Pardon the uh, whole screen doing things. Uh, and we're going to swap to... What is this, like, under T for test model or something? Test model? No, 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 no. It's 14, not 6. Okay, so let's auto, let's auto set up this thing. And her mouth can't move, but she can move around like this. And her eyes can move, which is pretty cool if you ask me. She can't do expressions yet. She's just a floating head, as you can tell. And her head can't turn like, like it can't rotate from my left shoulder. Like it can't, you know, like I can't put my left ear to my left shoulder and my right ear to my right shoulder yet. But that's very easy to do. Uh, she can't even blink yet. <laughs> Look at her, yeah. Yeah, she's coming along. Pardon me, I'm so burpy. <laughs> so I can, mm, I can roll my eyes. Mm, I can look, mm, I can look all around. And then I can, I can, ah, I can move my head all around. Anyway, I just wanted to show this off before the end of my stream. It's a little bit uncanny because, you know, it, it, it can only move its eyes and its face a little bit um but i wanted to show it off in like in all of its in its full glory so to speak uh well not full glory partial glory it's it's, it's work in progress glory um and show you how it looks when it's actually like moving around in a human way if that makes sense anyway uh i'm gonna end the stream there most likely so um let me see if there's anybody we want to raid I really, I kind of don't feel like it today. Maybe we won't raid again today. <laughs> no raid, I guess. Um, uh, shout out to Figgies and Ghost Sphere Games who are currently supporting me on coffee. I, uh, I love those guys. I love all of you guys, to be honest. Um, bye. <laughs>